To create an NFT on the Singular platform, you'll have to click on Create. Now, every NFT that you mint on the Remark standard in general, and that includes the Singular platform, will need to be put into a collection first. An NFT cannot stand alone on its own. Uh, even if it's just a one-off, it has to be in a collection. This was done so that it's compatible with all the other NFT standards out there, which also use this same approach. And uh, collection ha collections have some other uh, useful benefits for later on, like uh, creating your own white label storefront and, and so on. So stay tuned for those features. So um, to make things easy, we have created some automatic uh, creation methods for your initial first accounts collection. And going forward, you can just put all the NFTs you make into this one collection. You don't have to do this step ever again. So let's initialize our first and uh, probably only collection create collection and now if you click on this magic wand here it'll just put the remark logo in here so you don't have to bother with the collection cover uh, for name you just put in something like uh, Luna's collection and for a symbol we just click again the wand and it'll just automatically generate something from our Kusama address uh, you can toggle this value to uh, limit how many tokens this collection will be able to hold this is to kind of um, assure your buyers from uh, assure them of the you know like limited nature of your nft so that you can't mint forever in this one collection this kind of adds value to your limited collections for description, uh, Markdown is supported, but we do not want to put anything in there uh, at this time. We can maybe, um, actually, we can put in here um, interesting remark art as a description. And we can, since it supports Markdown, we can just link to the remark website. There we go. Uh, for external URL, let's also put in remark app now when we click uh, create the UI will ask us to confirm this transaction you can see here that the extension has popped up the confirmation dialog at which point we should enter the password to our wallet as always we recommend using a password manager rather than an easy to remember password since we intend to do multiple operations from this one account, we can just tick remember my password for the next 15 minutes so that we are not asked for uh, password input again. Sign the transaction and now our collection is being created. Should wait a little bit. It's minting our collection. Note that a collection has an issuer predefined by, uh, to be the one who minted it. But you can also transfer the ownership of a collection to somebody else. And in that case, they become the owner and they can keep minting into it. So now you see that I have the collection here in the menu and I can just click this collection to select it as the one that I want to mint my uh, NFT into. Now let's upload a file. I'm going to upload an animation by Greyhood, who has created some awesome art for us already in the past. There we go. Our uh, movie is now uh, selected for upload. We can give it the name of Greyhood's GIF. And for a description, we'll just leave that empty. It doesn't matter right now. And now when we click Create, again, we are asked to confirm this transaction. This time, we're not asked for the password because we extended the passwordless period. And we can now further extend it for another 15 minutes. So now our um, NFT is being minted. And here we go. After minting, your space will automatically open, displaying whatever you have in your um, in your inventory, so to speak. So there are three tabs here on sale. This is an, uh, an animation that I, I'm selling because I own this animation. There's the created tab, which will show what we just created. And this includes this Greyhood's GIF. So you can see that it auto plays. It's an unlimited series because it's Bruno's collection and it's not listed for sale. If you click on the egg, you'll be able to see the details of this NFT on its dedicated page. So this movie will be pausable, playable, and so on. And also you have some other interactions that you can do with it right on this page, like burning it to destroy it, listing it for sale, or sending it as a gift, which we'll do in the follow-up videos.